stages involved in the manufacture of concrete. You may aware, the concrete is the homogeneous mixture of cement, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates and water, which consolidates into a hard solid due to the chemical action between the cement and water. Each constituent of the concrete has a specific function. However, the property of every hardened concrete depends on the quality of work in different stages of the manufacture of concrete. In this video let's have a look at the different stages of concrete production. The different stages involved in the production of concrete are batching or measurement of materials mixing transporting placing compacting curing and finishing the first process in manufacture of concrete is batching of materials once the grades of concrete are known the quantities of materials should be batched accordingly the required quantities of cement, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates and water are measured with an accuracy of plus or minus 3% of batch quantity. If any admixtures are to be added, its accuracy should be plus or minus 5% of the batch quantity. Mixing Once the required quantities are batched, the materials are mixed thoroughly to make the concrete mass homogeneous and uniform in color and the mixing should be such that the aggregate particles should be coated with cement paste and all the ingredients of the concrete should blend into a uniform mass transporting once the ingredients are mixed thoroughly, it should be transported to the place of deposition at the earliest without the loss of homogeneity obtained at the time of mixing. In an average, the concrete should be transported within one hour if no agitators are available in the transporting machine, whereas if trucks with an agitator are used, a maximum of two hours from the time of mixing is permitted and also sufficient care should be taken such that segregation does not take place during transportation and placement. Placing Once the fresh concrete is transported to the place, the concrete should be placed with care, in order to achieve good quality concrete. The quality of concrete should be secured such the homogeneity achieved during mixing is maintained and the segregation of concrete during transportation should be avoided. The allowable delay for dry mixes in hot weather condition is half to one hour and for wet mixes in cold weather condition, it may be several hours. Compaction after the concrete is placed in the desired location, it should be sufficiently compacted. Compaction consolidates fresh concrete within the molds or frameworks and around embedded parts and reinforcement steel. As there will be a considerable quantity of air entrapped in concrete during its production and also there will be a possibility of segregation of concrete. Both of these may affect the quality of concrete. Thus by compaction, we can get rid of the entrapped air and voids form a homogeneous dense mass. It should be noted that the presence of 5% of voids in hardened concrete reduce the strength of about 30% and 10% voids reduce the strength of about 50%. Thus, it can be stated that the density, strength and durability of concrete largely depend upon the degree of compaction. To obtain the maximum strength of concrete, it should be compacted to 100%. Curing As we have already seen in the video about hydration of cement and heat of hydrations, 
the cement gains its strength and hardness due to the chemical reaction occurring between cement and water. These chemical reactions require sufficient moisture, temperature and time which is achieved by curing it with the water. Curing of freshly placed concrete is very important for optimum strength and durability. Finishing Once all the process is done, the concrete surfaces should be sufficiently finished to give a better appearance. Every stages in the manufacture of concrete contains various sub-methods which we can see one by one in future videos. Subscribe our channel for more civil engineering related videos.